Crystal, what are you taking a look at? Well, back in 2019, Brazilian soccer star Neymar was accused of rape. In response, he took to Facebook and also to Instagram, recording videos that revealed nude photos of his accuser in an attempt to smear her and protect himself. Now, ordinarily, such an action would constitute a blatant violation of Facebook's terms of service and would lead to a very clear outcome. Not only would that content be immediately removed, but the user's entire account would be deleted for posting non-consensual nudes. But in this instance, for some strange reason, no action was taken. For more than 24 hours, that content was allowed to remain up while it racked up more than 56 million views from his 150 million followers. Why? Well, we are now learning, according to documents obtained by the Wall Street Journal, that this lack of action was no error, but part of an intentional system of protection for elite users on Facebook. So while Zuckerberg and other Facebook executives have always insisted that all users of Facebook and Instagram are treated equally, in reality, VIPs receive explicit special treatment through a program internally named Crosscheck. Here's the Wall Street Journal, quote, the program was initially intended as a quality control measure for actions taken against high-profile accounts, including celebrities, politicians, and journalists. Today, it shields millions of VIP users from the company's normal enforcement process, the documents show. Some users are, quote, whitelisted, rendered immune from enforcement actions, while others are allowed to post rule-violating material pending Facebook employee reviews that often never come. So here's how it all works. Facebook identifies a whole list of elite athletes, journalists, politicians, other influencers who they deem as posing a PR risk for the company by dint of their fame, their money, or their power. Those elites are then whitelisted and exempted from the normal process of automated enforcement. In theory, human beings are supposed to review any potential violations by those whitelisted elites, but in practice, that human enforcement rarely actually occurs. Only 10% of cross-check posts were subjected to review for enforcement at all. Facebook's own internal analysis of the program and the special treatment afforded VIPs was absolutely scathing. A company document said the program was, quote, not publicly defensible, adding, we are not actually doing what we say we do publicly. In other words, Facebook has been blatantly lying about their policies, lying to the public, lying to Congress, and even lying to their own oversight board. Just as significant as the revelation that Facebook exempts millions of users from normal protocols is the reason why they do it. Facebook's special enforcement system for VIP users arose from the fact that its human and automated content enforcement systems that are normally used regularly flub calls. They know that they screw up all the time. And so they instituted a system in an attempt to minimize the PR backlash of such screw-ups. Clearly, Facebook does not actually care about consistency. They don't actually care about getting things right. They care about someone with a big following being able to make the public aware of their many frequent screw-ups. Because if that happened, it would be all too easy for the public to see just what an absolutely dreadful idea it is to outsource your civil discourse, your fact-checking, and your medical science adjudication to any soulless multinational monopoly. Now, there are real consequences to this codified favoritism, too. As just one small example, Facebook is often central to the campaigns in particular of upstart anti-establishment candidates. AOC was able to oust a longtime incumbent thanks in part to her savvy use of Facebook targeting. But while cross-check whitelists most sitting politicians, it excludes their opponents, who are subject to the normal, bumbling, automated censorship of the masses. On a platform as important and as pervasive as Facebook, this type of political favoritism is actual election interference. One set of rules for the politicians in power and another set of rules for those on the outside seeking to oust them. In fact, in related news that we mentioned earlier, the FEC just ruled that Twitter was justified in their unprecedented decision to block that sharing of a New York Post article on the contents of Hunter Biden's laptop back in the run-up to 2020. The Federal Election Commission ruled that Twitter's censorship of this legitimate political story was fine because it was based on a commercial purpose, not a political purpose. Of course, every action taken by these companies is first and foremost about a commercial purpose. It's about protecting their profit margins. It's just that their pursuit of profit Profits rather inconveniently screws our, our political system, creating biases, stifling debate, and censoring dissent. 
All of this is to say that cheering for Twitter and Facebook and other tech monopolies to have more powers of censorship and more avenues for manipulation is pure insanity. Just look at the lies they'll tell, the wild errors that they make and know that they make, the codified bias that applies one set of rules to those in power and another set to everyone else. I guess in that way, these companies are really just like the rest of American society, explicitly crafted to protect and serve elites. In this case, that elite agenda has been enabled by the useful dupes whose good intentions of opposing hatred and bigotry have been manipulated to justify handing more power to the already powerful. Just another mask-off moment for the entire rigged game. And Sagar, it's pretty incredible, like, I mean, they just blatantly lie. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.